I want to talk about Kawhi Leonard, who has missed all but nine games this season. Quad injury, shoulder injury. According to a story published today, months of differing opinions on how Kawhi should rehab from his injury has hurt the relationship between the Spurs and their superstar player. It's a story by uh, Adrian Wojnarowski, Michael C. Wright, and Zach Lowe all combined on that story. And in it, general manager R.C. Buford denied the report. Now, he told ESPN, quote, there is no issue between the Spurs organization and Kawhi from day one. All parties have worked together to find the best solutions to his injury. That is a textbook rubber stamp quote, if I ever heard one. Does not <laughs> Woj, mean that... Woj is not wrong very often. <laughs> does, not mean, does not mean that R.C. doesn't mean what he says. I'm just saying that is the quote you would expect from the organization. I would say that those are three of our very good reporters. You've got Zach Lowe, Adrian, and the beat writer who was there, Michael Wright. I, I don't ever think that that's nothing. So what do you think, Byron, when you hear that? Well, I think there's something there, obviously. But, you know, I, I find it very hard to believe that Kawhi is... Uh, the one that's, you know, putting out any statements or saying a whole lot. We, we barely get two or three words out of Kawhi. You know, he lets his play do the talking. But I think with the fact that he has a, a, a deal that can be coming up this summer, you know, Supermax deal, that maybe he has some opinions on how he should rehab, and they have some other opinion from their uh, physical therapies and trainers that he should rehab this way. So I don't think it's nothing real serious. When you talk about the San, San Antonio Spurs, we know what type of organization this is. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt that there's probably a little bit of indifference going on as far as the way he should rehab. But as far as anything else, I think, you know, this is going to be one of those things that kind of goes unnoticed and everybody's going to be happy at the end of the day. It's an experienced NBA voice saying that. There is an underlying issue with the contract, and it, that's something that maybe uh, an agent or a team of a player's team worries about. He is eligible, even if he doesn't play another game this year, to sign a five-year, $219 million contract Supermax, offer this right? summer. Mm -hmm. Supermax contract. Yeah. But this, How but much? This, 219. Gosh. But the Spurs don't have to offer it. And if Kawhi doesn't sign it, he then goes into a free agent season next year. So that is something that is sort of floating around the outside of how the Spurs need to a a execute with him during the season. Mm -hmm. Intrigue. And uh, obviously they're changing the guard, too, in San Antonio this week to with Tony Parker very gracefully saying it was his time to go to the bench. A lot works right in that organization. It'll be interesting to keep an eye on this one.